CompTIA ITF plus complete training course. Exam Objective 2.8 Given a scenario, install, configure and secure a basic wireless network. Speed Limitations Wi-Fi communications, while providing convenient and wireless connectivity, do have inherent speed limitations. These limitations are mainly influenced by factors such as the Wi-Fi standard being used, the frequency band it operates on, the number of devices connected to the network, and the distance between the devices and the wireless access point. Each Wi-Fi standard, from 802.11a to 802.11ac, offers varying theoretical maximum speeds. So let's take a look at those threshold throughput speeds now. We begin with 802.11a. This standard clocked in with a maximum speed limitation of 54 megabits per second. 802.11b was a bit slower, offering speeds up to 11 megabits per second. 802.11g sped things back up again to 54 megabits per second, matching the speed of 802.11a. Now things really started to heat up with the release of 802.11n. With 802.11n maximum theoretical throughput speeds jumped to 600 megabits per second. And then 802.11ac just came in and blew the rest of the standards out of the water, with a theoretical maximum speed of 6.9 gigabits per second. Now there are newer standards currently out, like the 802.11ax standard, which offers throughput speeds well above those offered by the 802.11ac standard, but they are not part of our exam topics for this exam. Now you should have a firm grasp of the speed limitations of each Wi-Fi standard. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.